This video is brought to you by my amazing Patreon supporters. If you'd like to help support the channel and keep it going, consider becoming a Patreon today. Link is in the description below. Japanese horror in the early 2000s was my gateway into international horror. After recently counting down my top 10 Takashi Miike movies, I have gone down a rabbit hole of revisiting a ton of my favorite top 10 Japanese horror films. So with that said, let's get to the list. Sadako vs. Kayako was first teased as an April Fool's joke in 2015, but was later confirmed in December of that same year. Sadako vs. Kayako is a crossover of the Juwan and The Ring series. After watching a cursed videotape, Natsumi has only two days before she will be killed by Sadako. Her only hope is to pit Sadako against Kayako, which is a menacing spirit that inhabits a haunted house. This film is loads of fun and doesn't require a ton of knowledge of either series. Ring follows a reporter who is investigating the mystery behind a cursed videotape that kills the viewer seven days after watching it. This was the film that introduced us to the vengeful spirit, Sadako. Purposely paced and loaded with atmosphere, the praise for Ring is well earned. And while I enjoy the American remake, I honestly prefer this over that film. I like the slower burn that this film brings, and the more subtle scares that it has. Juwan, the grudge, follows Rika, a volunteer home care worker assigned to visit a family. She is then cursed and chased by two vengeful spirits. Each person that lives in or visits the haunted house is murdered or disappears. From its opening scene to its closing credits, Juwan, the grudge is full of dread and haunting imagery. This is one that will stick with you long after the credits roll. Pulse follows two groups of people who discover evidence that suggests spirits may be trying to invade the human world through the internet. It explores the darkness of the afterlife and trying to escape the sadness and isolation of the modern world. Pulse was the first J-horror film I saw around 2002, and it's remained one of my favorites. Although its premise is dated, the scares are still effective and the atmosphere is thick with dread. Suicide Club explores a wave of seemingly unconnected suicides that strikes Japan. The film gained notoriety around the world for its controversial subject matter and overall gruesome presentation. It's most well known for its opening scene, which depicts 54 high school girls throwing themselves in front of a subway train. Suicide Club is an over-the-top, strange, and nasty little film, but it's also a load of fun in a darkly comedic way. Battle Royale follows a group of junior high school students that are forced to fight to the death by the Japanese totalitarian government under the BR Act. The cultural impact Battle Royale has had since its release over 20 years ago is immense. From film, books, and animation to Battle Royale video games, there's no shortage of media that is directly inspired by this film. Audition is about a widower whose son suggests that he should find a new wife. He agrees and with a friend stages a phony audition to meet a potential new wife. After interviewing several women, he becomes interested in Asami. They date and seem to hit it off, but her dark past affects their relationship. If you've never seen Audition, do yourself a favor and watch it right now. Don't let its lighter tone in the beginning of the film throw you off. It becomes twisted and dark in its third act. Tetsuo the Iron Man is about a metal fetishist driven mad by the maggots in a wound he's made to embed metal into his leg, runs out into the night and is run down by a Japanese salaryman and his girlfriend. They dispose of the corpse, but the salaryman soon finds that his flesh has transformed into iron. This film is batshit insane, as well as having incredibly impressive effects and editing, especially for its small budget. Perfect Blue follows a member of a Japanese idol group who retires from 
music to pursue acting. She soon becomes a victim of stalking, gruesome murders occur, and she starts to lose her grip on reality. Perfect Blue deals with blurring the lines between fantasy and reality. This was also the inspiration for the film Black Swan. Beautifully animated and darkly disturbing, Perfect Blue is one of the best animated films I've ever seen. Hoping to connect to her late mother, Gorgeous takes a trip to her aunt at her house in the country. She invites her six friends, Prof, Melody, Mac, Fantasy, Kung Fu, and Sweet to join her. The girls soon discover that there is more to the old house than meets the eye. House is a hilarious horror comedy that's full of psychedelic effects. From beginning to end, House is a total blast. This is a charming little movie that you have to see. What are some of your favorite Japanese horror movies? Let me know down in the comments below. And while you're at it, be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for coming by and I'll see you guys on the next video.